Today we're going to be talking about the best yarns for amigurumi in every price point. I love to experiment and that applies to amigurumi yarns as well. There's nothing more fun than picking out a brand new yarn and testing it to see if it works well for crocheting and knitting toys. My squirrely personality has caused me to try a lot of different yarns and I found some duds but I've also found some great yarns in every different price point. We're going to be talking about four different levels of price for amigurumi yarns and those are budget friendly, mid price, premium yarns, and luxury yarns. But these are my favorite yarns and you may have your very own yarn that you are so in love with and if I don't share your favorite yarn I would love for you to leave it in the comment section below because I know a lot of people are always looking for great yarns for amigurumi and yours might be the one that they like even better than any of the ones that I'm going to share but also know that these yarns are ones that are available to me I live here in the United States I buy a lot of yarn online but some of these may not be available to you but I also also have a video called how to test yarn for amigurumi and that's for those of you who may not have access to any of these yarns and you have your own yarns that you can get locally so you can test them to see which ones actually work best for you and I'll leave a link for that as well as links for every one of the yarns that I talk about in the description box below. The first yarn in the budget-friendly category is Premier Basics Worsted. I made this little drummer drumming from Crochet to Play's new pattern, The 12 Days of Christmas, from Premier Basics Worsted, and it is a fantastic budget-friendly yarn. It's priced at $3.79 for seven ounces of yarn, and it is by far the most budget-friendly yarn that I have ever used, and this is a very soft yarn. It comes in 80 different colors. I think that my little drummer drumming turned out so cute. I actually did a video comparing this little drummer drumming and I made another one with a more expensive yarn that we're going to talk about here in just a little bit. There were a few differences which I talk about in the video and I'll leave that video for you as well in the description box below. When you divide the total cost by the ounces, that's 54 cents per ounce. That is very, very budget friendly. The things to know about the Premier Basics Worsted is that it is a heavy heavier worsted weight than some of the other worsted weight yarns that I've used in the past. That just means it's just a little bit thicker. So your toys are going to turn out a little bit bigger than they would if you used a lighter worsted weight yarn. The other thing that I really like about this yarn is that it has a lot of structure. So if you are making toys and you need those little ears to perk up, this is the kind of yarn that will work beautifully for that. The other great thing about this yarn is that it comes in so many different skin tone colors and I know a a lot of us amigurumi makers, we love to crochet and knit dolls and we're always looking for those skin tones. So make sure to check out the Premier Basics Worsted. I recently needed a 100% cotton yarn for a totally different project that I'm working on and I didn't have any on hand that was the right weight. So I ran to my closest craft store, which is actually Hobby Lobby, and they had the I Love This cotton brand. And I've heard a lot of you say that you love this yarn for making amigurumi and I thought I need to try this. Now, I actually haven't made an entire toy with it yet, and there's a reason for that, which I'll talk about in just a minute. But the thing that surprised me the most about this yarn is how soft it is. When I think cotton, I don't think soft, but this one is incredibly soft. The price is $3.79 for a three and a half ounce skein, and that works out to $1.08 per ounce. Most of you already know this, but Hobby Lobby yarn is on sale every other week for 30% off. The sales price is $2.79. 65 cents and that works out to approximately 75 cents per ounce. It comes in 47 different colors that are amazing for amigurumi. Now we're going to talk about the medium priced yarns. Yarn B Comfy Classic is one of those yarns that you're either going to love or you're going to hate it. It's incredibly soft and has a lot of stretch to it, but it's a very different yarn than any other one on my list. When I say this yarn has a lot of stretch, I mean it has a lot of stretch. Think back to you or your mom back in 1989 and we used to always wear those pantyhose. Think about how it has all of that stretch and that's exactly what this yarn feels like. 
like. I absolutely love the stretch of this yarn, but I can see why it might be a pain in the rear for some people. It definitely does slip through your hands a little bit if you don't have them moisturized. So I always had to put a little lotion on my hands before working with this yarn. Otherwise, I had to grip it really tight. So that's just one little tip if you want to work with this yarn. It comes in 15 different colors and it's priced at $4.49 per three and a half ounce skein. And that comes out to $1.28 per ounce, but that's for the non-sales price. And we're not gonna buy Hobby Lobby yarn unless it's on sale. The sales price is $3.14 for three and a half ounces and that works out to 89 cents per ounce. Now you may be wondering why this yarn at only 89 cents per ounce is not in the budget friendly category because it definitely works out to that price point. And the reason why is because I found that I used a lot of this yarn. I'm not really sure why it took so much yarn and I've used it for two different projects. First, I made cute little Mrs. Habiba here and this is definitely a big doll, but it used a lot more yarn than I thought. I also used it with my floral granny square table runner. It eats up yarn. I don't really understand the science behind it. It's just been my experience. So that's why I moved this one into the medium priced yarn because I think you're going to end up using more of it than you would a traditional yarn. Mrs. Habiba is from Lula and her Amigurumi friends and I will leave a link for the book in the description box below as well. The next yarn is the Anti-Pilling Everyday worsted and this is a fantastic yarn for amigurumi and what I love most about this yarn is that it was designed with the anti-pilling technology so if your toy is going to get a lot of hugs and cuddles this would be a really good choice for you it comes in 67 different colors at 4.99 for a three and a half ounce skein and that comes out to a dollar 42 per ounce but make sure to get on premieres email list to get those coupons and know when their sales are happening I also made one of the little drummers drumming with the anti-pilling everyday worsted because I wanted to compare it to the more budget-friendly yarn, the Premier Basics. So if you want to see all of the differences, make sure to check out that video. This yarn also has a lot of great skin tone, so I think it's really nice for doll making as well. The next yarn is Cotton Fair by Premier Yarns. You may be surprised to see another cotton yarn on my list, and I don't use cotton in case you didn't know because of the joint issues that I have, and cotton just isn't quite as stretchy, and so it pulls on my joints and in my wrists and in my hands and even my elbows. So I don't use it, but I do use the Cotton Fair and here's why. The Cotton Fair is a cotton blend, so it is the best of both worlds. You have the beautiful cotton stitch definition, but you also have the stretch of the acrylic. So it's 52% cotton and 48% acrylic. The only negative about this yarn is that it only comes in 22 colors. I wish that this came in every single different color and it only comes in a sport or a bulky weight. I am hoping and I'm gonna cross my fingers and send a little whisper out to the Premier Yarn people that we would love to see this yarn in DK weight, in worsted weight, and in all the colors. It is a dream to work with and the colors are just beautiful. So this one is absolutely Absolutely wonderful. Let's get to the price because I'm just going on and on and on about it, but let's get to the price. Cotton Fair is $5.99 for a three and a half ounce skein, and that works out to $1.71 per ounce. The way I use this yarn is for the clothing for my Three Little Pigs pattern, my Not So Big Bad Wolf, and my new one coming out soon, A Kitten and Her Mittens. I love how this works up with these knitted clothes, but it also is a great yarn to work with Amigurumi, especially if you like to make small little amigurumi toys. It's a sport weight, so it's going to make little small toys and they're going to be beautiful. For the premium yarn category, we're going to start with the Paint Box Wool Mix Erin. Because this yarn is a wool blend, it has a wonderful depth to it, so it has nice crisp stitches, but it's got a teeny tiny halo to it, which I love. It comes in 48 beautiful colors, and it costs $8 for three and a half ounces. And that comes out to $2.28 per ounce. Paint Box Yarns comes from Love Crafts, and they're always having sales, so make sure to check their website and get on their email list. That way, you'll 
you'll know when the big sales are and to get those very valuable coupons. I've made a lot of different toys with the paint box wool mix, Erin, and one of my favorites is Lula. She is such an adorable toy, and this is also from Lula and her Amigurumi friends. But the paint box yarns in general are great yarns for Amigurumi, and you'll find a link to them in the description box below. The next premium yarn is Barocco Vintage. If I had to pick one yarn that I think is absolutely spectacular and perfect for Amigurumi, I'm going to go with Barocco Vintage. It really is gorgeous. It's my kind of yarn. It's a beautiful wool blend and comes in a lot of different colors. The only negative is the price. It retails for $9.50 for a three and a half ounce skein, and that works out to $2.71 per ounce. What I love about this yarn is that the colors are so rich, they're so beautiful, and many of them have that vintage -y look to them that I absolutely love. But you can also make brightly colored toys like the little Zoe here. I call her grandma, but this is Zoe from the pattern Zoe and Zach by Krumi Toys. The yarn is 52% acrylic, 40% wool and 8% nylon. So it has a really nice stretch to it and it is absolutely gorgeous. Another thing to just keep in mind, and I know you already know this, is that if you're going to be making a toy for a child who's going to love it and squeeze it and get little sticky fingers all over it, you may not want to use some of these premium yarns because they're kind of expensive and you never want to feel like a child can't play with a toy. I make a lot of toys that are just gonna sit in my craft room, so I am end up using yarns that I just love. I also make toys and they're technically nursery decorations and they're just to sit and look pretty. But if you're making toys for kids who actually want to play with them, which I think is a beautiful thing to do, you may want to stick with the lower priced yarns. That way, if they mess them up, it doesn't really matter because you didn't spend that much on the yarn anyway. Another favorite is Premier Yarns Stitch Please. And it actually comes in two different versions, the Stitch Please Worsted and the Stitch Please Superwash Worsted. They're both 100% wool yarns and they are gorgeous. I love these colors so much. The Stitch Please Worsted comes in 70 different colors and it's $7.99 for a three and a half ounce skein. And that works out to $2.28 per ounce. The Stitch Please Superwash Worsted comes in 48 colors and is $9.99 for a three and a half ounce skein. And that comes out to $2.85 per ounce. And I made one of the Not So Big Bad Wolf bodies in the Stitch Please Worsted. Now the the clothing is made with a completely different yarn, but his body is made with the Stitch Please Worsted. Now we're moving on to my favorite yarns in the luxury category. Camellia Fiber Company is one of my favorite yarns of all time, and they are an independent yarn company located in one of my favorite places, Nashville, Tennessee, which is where my husband is originally from. I bought my first skein of the Camellia Fiber Company yarn at my local yarn shop, Hearts on Fiber in Davidson, North Carolina. I just loved the look of this yarn. I loved how it felt and the colors just drew me in. Their worsted weight yarn comes in 18 spectacularly gorgeous colors. And it's $28 for a three and a half ounce skein. And that works out to $8 per ounce. It is absolutely not practical in the slightest to make toys from luxury yarns, but I have done it many times and I just have so much fun playing around with these luxury yarns. I made one of my three little pigs with the Camellia Fiber Company yarn and he just turned out so darn cute. I loved working with this yarn and it definitely is a lighter worsted weight. The next yarn in the luxury category is the Debbie Bliss Baby Cashmerino. This is one of my go-to yarns. I use this yarn all of the time and it comes in 45 absolutely stunning stunning, gorgeous colors, and it is so incredibly soft. It's 55% wool, 33% acrylic, and 12% cashmere. So it feels like butter in your hands. It's just like butter. This yarn retails for $9.99 for a 1.8 ounce skein, and that works out to $5.55 per ounce. What I use this yarn for is to make the clothing for my patterns for the Three Little Pigs, the Not So Big Bad Wolf, and the Kitten and Her Mittens. It works up perfectly, and I love all of the different color options that they have. The next yarn is actually two yarns and I hold these two together and they are the most expensive and I had no idea until I did the math and I thought, 
okay, maybe I don't need to make many toys with them, but I have a little bit in my stash and a little goes a long way with this yarn. It is the Rowan Kid Classic and the Rowan Kid Silk Haze. The Rowan Kid Classic is 70% wool, 22% mohair, and 8% polyamide. It comes in 28 different colors and retails for $13.75 for a 1.8 ounce skein. And that comes out to $7.63 per ounce. Yikes. And I love pairing this yarn with the Rowan Kid Silk Haze, which is a very fine mohair silk blend. It comes in 68 different colors and is $16.99 for a 0.9 ounce skein. That comes out to a whopping $18.77 per ounce. Oh my goodness. It is extremely expensive, especially when you combine the two, but I have to say it is rather beautiful. I I used these two yarns when I knit the Wild Rabbit from Dot Pebbles Knits. What's really great about using these two yarns together is that you get that super fuzzy effect and it looks more realistic, while at the same time you're able to use two slightly different yarn colors and that just gives a depth in the color and that makes it look even more realistic as well. And I think this one turned out really beautiful and that's one of the things that's great about those two yarns is that they are very, very expensive, but they really do create a look that is difficult to do with a budget-friendly yarn. I hope you enjoyed this comparison of all the different Amigurumi yarns, and I would love to know what your favorite yarn is for Amigurumi. I'm always looking to test and try new things. It's so much fun to me. But please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and please like the video. That helps my channel so much. And I thank you all from the bottom of my heart for being here today, and I hope you stay safe out there and happy stitching.